How's it going guys? So last night Nikon released a new firmware upgrade to 3.11 and that's going to be addressing the lens profile systems that we had an issue with in 3.10 and 3.11. Plus we also got some great news going for moving forward when it comes to the Artemis Ninja. Those are the things I want to talk about today so stay tuned. As far as firmware goes, we only have a patch to 3.11, which means they fixed a problem that we had with the lens profile system being saved onto the camera and not loading properly. So that was the only issue that was addressed with no other major gains. So as far as the Nikon system goes, that's it. But there's also some great news when it comes to the newest firmware that might be coming up quite soon. Nikon is planning to do a major firmware upgrade to the Z-Body system, and that will only be addressed mostly towards video. What that means now is that ProRes RAW will have access to your metadata. All the settings that you had when you were shooting will now be available there, which means that Premiere and Final Cut Pro will be getting updates as well, so they can read those settings of the metadata that was incorporated into the codec which is great news because now you can perhaps shift the ISO like you wanted to from the get-go and maybe get better footage and control your noise a lot better. I'm hoping this is the road that they're taking. Since they are incorporating all this data into the Z-Body system, it might mean also that the baseline will also get Blackmagic RAW. As far as the Ninja goes, they're also getting a firmware upgrade quite soon and that's to address all the major problems that they're having right now with all the body systems that they're trying to accommodate to. As far as the Z-Body goes, it is shit when it comes to acquiring anything within the Ninja 5. They're saying that in the newest firmware upgrade, you'll be able to see your raw to log conversion and apply the 3D LUT directly onto the actual monitor. You'll be able to see once again, your final scene, what you're shooting is what you'll see and not wait to post for you to see what you actually acquire because that's what we're seeing right now. And if they fix that problem, now the Ninja is back on top again to where it's supposed to be. So when it comes to ProRes RAW and Log, that feature is going to be apparently addressed in the newest firmware that's going to be coming up. That will be great news for all of us. So that's what I have for you guys today. I hope this is some news that you were looking forward to because I was. I'm just waiting for my camera to come back now because right now it's on its way to New York to get fixed. When it comes back, I'm probably going to do the firmware upgrade to 3.12 because right now it's on 3.11. So until then, 